Hi there, thanks for joining me. Uh, another Tis the Season. Now, I'm, I've titled this one Fun with Nancy and Alice because uh, it, it, I spent Saturday with Nancy and Alice and um, and we had fun. <laughs> so, and I've got things to share and Nancy and Alice, I hope you will forgive me if I get mixed up as to who they brought they brought nice things for me when they came they they were so kind and, and always so generous and uh, uh, and then of course we just went nuts in my room here and and now I'm sort of I think this is from now wait who's this from who's this it, it, and then, of course, I bought books at the Kirby Book Sale because we went up to the Kirby Book Sale. And then we went to a couple of antique shops in uh, in the little town of Orono. And before I know it, I've got things to show you. And you'll have to bear with me if I forget whether it's from Nancy or from Alice or from the Kirby Book Sale or from the antique um, stores that we went to, um, yeah, so bear with me, it's, it's my liver disease brain fog, I will call it, <laughs> so fun with Nancy and Alice and Catherine, um, and boy, it was fun, we, we seem to be making this an annual November thing, and, uh, and, I don't think we stop talking the whole time we're out. Now, Nancy is Nancy from Wishes and Weeds, and Alice is our friend um, who also just loves junk journals and loves um, antique and vintage papers. And, and Nancy and Alice, oh my goodness, do they have an eye for finding the papers. They can hunt it out like bloodhounds when we're in thrift stores and when, and, and antique shops. They just, I, I should learn just to follow them around. Because <laughs> they find it. I'll, I can be wandering around and I'm like, oh look, a squirrel kind of thing. Because my eye catches on to things that I reminisce and it takes me back. Because I'm old enough now that a lot of the things that are in antique stores I are actually from my childhood <laughs> and I'll look at them with fondness and oh look at this I remember mom having that or oh I remember my grandparents had one of these and meanwhile they're stealthy and they will just zone in on the old papers and before I know it we run into each other and they've both got their hands full of old papers and I've got nothing but a smile on my face <laughs> But it's so much fun. And then I usually say, where'd you get that? Where'd you get that? And start looking again. Anyhow, so I'm going to I'm going to just start showing what I got and do my best to remember. And yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, and the shadows, I apologize, but it is a really overcast, dark day out there, even though it's daytime right now. So I have to have my overhead light going. And it means there's you know, shadows with woof, woof, woof. Yeah. Okay. First thing is my Alice paper that I call it. If you, if you follow along on my videos, I, I often refer to Alice paper. Uh, um, she gets them from work, just oodles of them. This isn't all. She brought me a bag full. The stack is probably 10 inches thick of all of these and it is absolutely perfect for backing things um, it is not quite as thick as a file folder but it's thicker than paper and I love it I, and I, I just call it my Alice paper and uh, and even um, my littlest grand no not my littlest my little granddaughter I've got grandchildren littler than Audrey um, when you have 18 of them you know what I think I'm doing okay that I know all their names and I know the order 
of like I can name them from youngest to oldest in correct order but don't ask me how old they are or what grade they're in I don't know <sighs> anyhow so my little granddaughter Audrey um I should say young because she is mighty <laughs> anyhow she's very crafty and she was here in my room with me one day and uh, she spotted my Alice paper and her eyes lit up because she is so crafty. She will create 3D things, like box type things that you can open up and or stand up things. And um, she's just extremely, her brain is not only doing flat artwork on a page, but she she's going in 3D directions with her art already. <sighs> she's her, her art mind is just amazing um anyhow Alice was so thoughtful she brought me a massive bag and she also brought a bag for Audrey so Audrey can't wait I'm going to drop it off over at her house this week and and some crafty goodies for Audrey so um so if, if Audrey's watching this, Audrey, you're going to have another stack of some Alice paper uh, coming very soon. This is from Nancy. And uh, wait, before I start getting into that. First of all, awesome, unique fabric, uh, Tim Holtz fabric. I, I notice I remembered to say Holtz and not Horton's. Um, it's so unique because it, it, it would be perfect for like a black Christmas journal or a faded red Christmas journal or a pink Christmas journal. Um, it just, I've never seen shades like this and yet it looks Christmassy because of the little snowflakes on it. So, um. Thank you, Nancy, for thinking of me. I even love when fabrics have these, the test, uh, the ink tests and swatches and names of the fabric and whose it is. I got one of, I got a Nancy mitten from the quilt. I remember the day she got this quilt. Actually, I found it. I, I like to take credit for some of it, but I didn't do this beautiful work that she did with it. What she created out of that quilt, um, Again, as I said, Nancy's stealthy, and I think I swear estate sales just pop up and find her. Um, when we went away on our getaway, um, we we were looking for a scrapbook store. Well, there's a sign that says estate sale. Boom, we're there. <laughs> and and I found the little quilt, and uh, I said, look what I found. And Nancy looked at it and then looked at me and looked at it. And she said, are you going to get it? And I said, oh, no. And again, it's I I can appreciate the beauty and the work that goes into even an old worn quilt, even more beautiful. Um, but I would I don't make the kind of beautiful things that Nancy makes out of old quilts. And I knew it was in very good hands with her. And she got it for a great price. And, uh, and I, got, I got a Nancy mitten. But this, I got to tell you, I just watched Nancy's video. So go back and find the video. You'll probably see a picture of these on the video. Uh, this is the one that I loved. And she sent it to me, and I didn't even realize it yesterday because I hadn't watched the video yet. And today I watched the video, and, and I got it. So I'm happy. I'm very happy. <sighs> I love it. And she knows I like gold. So, so there's that. Since we're still on Nancy, let's just stay on Nancy as best I can for now. Um... She brought a box of books that she um, knew she wasn't going to use any further, but they weren't donatable because she had already used pages out of them or the text block or what have you. But she didn't know whether either Alice or I might want them. And yes, please, thank you. 
um, as if I need more, but come on, look at that. Wouldn't that make a fantastic journal cover, album, a nature journal? Oh, I just love it. Look at that. Mm. So beautiful. So that will become a journal. I liked this little um, uh, text block. First of all, because I love the title of it, She Stoops to Conquer. And I love tiny pages in um, when I put together one of my text blocks. It's fun to have a tiny page. I only wish I knew what year this was. Nancy, do you happen, did you ever have the cover? Do you happen to know off the top of your head what uh, year this is from? That would be awesome if you know. And then um, I, I've been to Nancy's many times and um, her thrift stores tend to have a lot of um, German books. And I suspect that's where you got this from one of your thrift stores donated from. Um, I feel badly I should know which one it is. The Mennonite community. I was going to say Amish, but I believe it's Mennonite out in. Uh, anyhow, it doesn't matter. Um, so this is German. It's got the beautiful font that they love. And it's a nice size. So I love this. Um, Kirka. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Kirka? Kirka? Um, so I, I suspect it is a, um, a hymn book. Uh, it sure looks old to me. Um, so that, again, I like, I like the size of the papers. And, uh, this one... I don't think I will use the cover, 1921, Chronicle of Maston Park. So I have a feeling it was a school. And it's just got, 1921, it's got beautiful, tiny black and white portraits that will be good for making little... Just little um, little pictures to put here and there when you want to make a tiny cluster with a little face. Aren't they great? Look at that hairdo. Is that magnificent? Parted in the in the center and and slicked back. Remember brill cream? A little dab will do ya. My brothers and my dad used brill cream. And then I loved these. Wouldn't that be nice as a tuck spot along the side of a page in a journal? Um, so I thought, yep, I want that. This one, Mrs. Browning, well, come on. Th that's just wonderful. There's no spine on it. Well, the spine is there, but it's glued right to the um, end of the text block so I'll have to create a new spine for this cover but it's from 1844 I mean look at the inside that's magnificent uh, I don't know whether I'll be able to save that or not or whether this that might come off and I might be able to glue it back down to get it safe again this this is leather and I will have fun with it so, and if I have to, I will just, you know, use some lace or what have you. And I think that would make a really beautiful, um, shabby chic kind of junk journal. And these Edgar A. Gast books, he just has a knack for, um, he has a knack for really great titles. Merry Christmas. Oh, I love that. Um, he has a knack for great titles for his books. I have a few, and I really should make journals out of them because um, the title, for me, sometimes just the title alone will make me want to make a journal out of a book. And, I mean, A Heap of Living Along Life's Highway, that's a magnificent title for somebody's journal. 
And I think I could put a journal book plate up here or something. L love you, Edgar, or Eager. I always call him Eager, but is it Ed? Oh, it is Edgar. Now I gotta know. I've always called him Edgar. Yeah, it is Edgar. Okay. <sighs> Not losing my mind. So um, that, I'm going to put Mrs. Browning inside because that spine, Edgar's spine, is going to crack if I bend that much more. So we'll do that. Um, I loved this cover. I don't, I don't use covers like this very often, but that looks, that artist and the shades look very much like, um, oh, our favorite, Edith. It looks like Edith, and there's still some, look at all those eggs, like, oh, eggs, little babies, oh, more eggs. I'm, I'm thrilled with this one. I'm thrilled. In the spring, or when I, in the middle of winter, when I'm craving spring, this, um, this will become a journal. I can't resist a big book, and I probably should not have taken this book. But I can't resist a beautiful big book. The American Architect, 1923. Um, oh, Grand and Toy. Everything for the office, Grand and Toy, Toronto. I don't think Grand and Toy exists anymore. We certainly don't have any near me. So there's some... Interesting photos. Not sure I would... Oh, I might use some of these floor plans. I like things like that. I have a page in um, Mrs. Fezziwig that has uh, that has uh, the floor plan for a Victorian house. Or the mantles for the fireplaces to put into a Victorian house. See all that? That makes for interesting. Um, pages. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Glad I took it. This is kind of cool. Love this. All right, so um, it's so big it's not fitting in the in the camera frame. And then there's this one. I just saw her show this one in, uh, I think it was, was it in a state hall that she did? And it's just full of notes, obviously from a medical student, Margaret Jones, 1927 to 1930. She's even given her own, her own index, uh, chemistry, physiology, knowledge, massage, bacteriology, obstetrics, pediatrics, surgery, general medicine, orthopedic surgery so she was 1927 to 1930 she could have been in medical school very likely nursing school um, at that time but you never know um, unfortunately with a last name like Jones the likelihood of me finding her is highly unlikely but I this is just I'm looking forward to using this in as backgrounds and uh, and as just um, folios. So that was from Nancy. Here's where I'm not sure whether this and whether this was uh, Nancy or Alice. I think I know. This is from Alice, so I suspect this is also from Alice. Uh, the little dog looks like Kirby when she needs a haircut, which right now she needs a haircut. I forgot to show this to Dan. He'd love to see that because it, it looks like Kirby. She's sound asleep on the floor behind me right now. <laughs> um, and, of course, she knows how much I just love Niagara on the Lake. And this is beautiful drawings of, there's a map of the town. 
again, I always explain it to people that might not know when I say Niagara on the Lake. Niagara on the Lake is the full name of a little, a beautiful little town. Um, some will argue that it's the prettiest one in Ontario, um, but there's so many beautiful little towns in Ontario, so I'm not going to... I'm not getting in on judging whether it is or not, but we happen to love it there. But it's drawings of all the old buildings in Niagara-on-the-Lake. Niagara-on-the-Lake is very different from Niagara Falls, Ontario. Niagara Falls is further down the, rip the Niagara River. It's, of course, beside the falls. Niagara-on-the-Lake is way up the river, right at the mouth where it uh, is... Uh, flows into Lake Ontario. Um, so two different places and Niagara Falls, Ontario is like our own tiny little version of Vegas. <laughs> and it's hectic and busy and it can be fun once or twice and then it, it's, it's too frenetic, frenetic for me. This is peaceful here. And I, now I want to go back and I want to find all these houses and then read about who who lived in them and who built them and when they were built. And my great, great aunt moved to Niagara on the lake. And I can't believe all these years I've been going there and I have not sought out her grave site yet. But I know she's buried in one of the cemeteries there. There's the apothecary. I've been in there. Oh, I can't tell you how many times I've been in the apothecary. It's now a, it, I mean, it was an apothecary, a working apothecary, and, and it, it's now just sort of a little mini museum, and it has very limited hours now. But this is beautiful, and I love it. This, I, I, I wish I could remember. I, I'm not sure whether this is from Alice. I think it's from Alice or Nancy. I think it's Alice. And it's um, beautiful wallpaper. Wouldn't that make beautiful um, end papers for books? And I think there's more in here because I see blue. Oh, yes. Look. At <gasps> wow. Okay, that's gorgeous. Now, is there anything else in here? No, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's beautiful, too. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'd love that in my bathroom. Mind you, I'd love this one. I'd love this one anywhere. Those colors? Mm. That's, uh... That's my kind of green. Now, we're going to find out together what Alice put in this little gift bag. I feel very spoiled. It was almost like my birthday. Uh, Saturday was just such the best day, and I was, wasn't feeling well all week. And... Saturday, I sort of warned them. I said, I don't know whether this is going to be a go on Saturday, so I'm just warning you ahead of time, just in case. And uh, I did my very best to make it happen, and it happened, and we got to go, and it was just like best day ever. It was such a good day. Okay, I'm going to save that. Let's see. Oh, okay. Love cards and nice blue cards. Great for, um, well, you know, journaling cards. Sweet notepads. Oh, Nancy brought me another um, shit list. I love Shit's Creek. I don't know if any of you guys out there love Schitt's Creek. I love Schitt's Creek. I can watch it over and over and over and over. There's only a few shows I can do that with. Big Bang Theory, I can totally... I have so many relatives. I swear I'm related to all to all of them, especially Sheldon. That's very pretty. Oh, look, 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 look. 
Oh, she's beautiful. Nothing is worth more than laughter. Isn't that true? It is strength to laugh and to abandon oneself to be light. Isn't that the truth? I remember at the... Uh, I, I prefer to call it a challenge, the, the biggest challenge in my life that I went through. And I remember thinking... Will I ever feel joy and just up, uh, laughter with abandoned, uh, with a wild abandon ever again? It, it. I wasn't thinking. Will I ever, you know, fall in love again, or will I ever? Uh, I just wanted to know that I would be able to just full out laugh again and of course yes yes <laughs> so that that might need to be framed and go on a wall grace lee boggs oh the artist is grace lee boggs oh some some paper to go in journals love it oh love this french alice must have been up in quebec oh that beautiful paper. More of that. Look at the fine lines on that paper. That's back when they used to teach us actually how to write in cursive. And we had that special paper. Oh, look at this paper. So beautiful, this ledger paper. Oh, Alice, thank you. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. Oh, now this must be avocado dyed paper. I love it. And I love when it's legal size because then you pretty well know you can fit it into any journal. Legal size is awesome. Wrapping paper, very pretty. Vintage wrapping paper. Oh, I love it. Wrapping paper. I love it. Wow, look at this. Janvier. Oh, Milneuf. Oh, I'm not even going to attempt it now. My, my French days are over with. 1957, though. Wow. So it's an embroidery. Wow. Amazing. My mother would know what to do with all these. Look at that. Um, I mean, I know what I'll do with them. <laughs> but my mother would do other things with them. Oh, William Morris. Love it. William Morris. Yes, yes. Love it. And this paper. Oh. Alice gave me some beautiful sort of Dijon mustard straw paper before and I love putting it in journals oh look at the color of the red that's my favorite red a nice warm brick red mm, 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 mm. happy girl happy happy girl thank you Alice you spoiled me now let's see what's in this little bag here. Oh, seam binding. I like that. See what I mean? And look how nicely packaged all this was. Eau de Cologne. I love how, like these are the real deal. Eau de Cologne. So pretty. Love it. Look at that envelope. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's the cutest envelope. I might have to see if I can make a um, template of this envelope because look, what's the size of it? It is four by one and three quarters. <laughs> How cute is that? 
Okay, that's that's fun. I gotta put that aside. I want to try and replicate that. Nice. Under that must be a coaster to go under a drink. It's so pretty. And then seam binding. Oh, <gasps> love these. It's almost like grow grain seam binding. They're still completely sealed. That's incredible. Love it. Oh, I love the color of that one. Plum. Beautiful. Warland's Department Store. No, Arlen's Department Store. Reduced to six cents. Six cents. I don't know if you can see that. Wow. All right. That you outdid yourself, miss. All right, uh, next thing. I may have to do my book haul in a separate video, but I will get this stuff done. This is from the two antique stores we went to. To the one antique store, I got this, and it's way too big to even fit on screen. Um, let me get my ruler. It is 14 inches by... Uh, 17 inches. <laughs> it's a big book. I'm going to have to pull it away to open it because of my camera. But it is a it's a tax book. So it is oh, it's upside down. There we go. Register arrears of taxes. Ooh, I guess you don't want to be in this book. It means you're in arrears. And it's for it's local, so I recognize these areas that are listed. What year? May nineteenth, but it doesn't say what year. See, I know where Emily Township is, King Township. Nineteen thirty nine. Nineteen thirty nine. Henry Brown. Oh, I hope it wasn't my one of my relatives. Let's see if there's any other names hit that ring a bell here. Percy Brown. Well, I had an Uncle Percy, but his last name wasn't Brown. Hmm. Anyhow, so the nice thing is, this is the best of both worlds, this ledger. Oh, you can see my head. I apologize. Best of both worlds, because there's lots of the old handwriting in it, but there's also lots of blank pages. Look at all that. I don't want to tell you what I paid for it, but it, it just felt like, like I said, it felt like a uh, birthday weekend for me. Oh, look, at, even the Catholic Church was in arrears. The Anglicans were too, uh-oh, and the United Church. My goodness, the school was in worse, worse shape, and the community hall, they were $1,000 in, or no, $10. Land value, oh no, that's, oh, they were, whoa. The community hall, $50,000, whoa, up in King Township. My ancestors were from King Township. I bet they were having fun activities at the community hall. Anyhow, I got that at the one antique shop. Usually I don't find anything at that antique shop. It's quite expensive. And as I said, that was quite expensive. But I rarely treat myself to something that expensive, but I wanted it. Um, so now these things were in a box that Nancy and Alex, Alice found called her Alex, <laughs> Alice, um, found, and, um, they were in a box, and I walked, walked past it, that, that was, had a sign in front of the box, said everything in the box, one dollar, meaning one dollar each, not that you, <laughs> imagine grabbing the box, you said everything for a dollar, anyhow, I loved this old picture, I thought maybe I could put that in as Mr. Fezziwig um, when he got older. B 
because it's a little smaller and lighter for in um, in my journal, Mrs. Fezziwig. And then there's a pretty little, a parting gift for you. Pretty little card. Look at how beautiful that is. And then there were a few really beaten up cabinet cards. But um, I'll move out of the way if I can. There, that helps. Isn't she beautiful? Look at her hair and the big bow in the back. And look at this little one with her dolly and beautiful dress on her. And then this little book, Mother Goose Rhymes. Now, I don't know what year. It doesn't say what year. But it's got beautiful illustrations. I have a feeling it's very old. And uh, it's falling apart. That little cover, is it leather? I think that little cover is leather. I might look at see if I can find it online. I can, I can make out the the uh, publisher there, so I might look online. I loved this. Good wishes. Believe it or not, it is a Christmas card. <laughs> Sincere Christmas greetings from Charlie. <laughs> so cute. I don't know why my shadow is... Oh, this, I know why the shadow's got is brighter. Because it's getting even darker outside. This is a cute little tiny book again. I love little tiny books. They just make for nice variety inside your text box. Christmas 1888, and it's just got beautiful little sayings and scriptures and illustrations throughout the whole thing. And look at that, they've used a pamphlet stitch binding in it. That's really beautiful. Is that for like a whole month? Because I see it says 16th day, 17th day. 31st day, yeah. Isn't that sweet? So you could read a saying a day. Henry J. Drain. I might look online. Look at this beautiful woman. Isn't that something? Again, I think this would be the, a nice kind of thing. Trim it down. And look, they wanted originally $8 for it. Um... Trim it down and um, put it on the cover of a journal. Same with this big one. It's badly damaged. That doesn't bother me because I would be trimming it down to about there. And again, she's lovely. Look at her beautiful dress. Polished shoes. You can see the shine on her shoes. Oh, so nice. So those were the things, the little things. So these, this came just to $9 because they were all out of that $1 box. <laughs> and even Nancy and Alice both found wonderful things in that $1 box. We each found things that we loved. So I'm, I'm going to end it here. I did find a few books at the Kirby Book Sale not a lot, but a few, and I'll share them in a separate video, maybe tomorrow. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this, this horrible shadow isn't too distracting. My apologies. If you're new here, I don't usually have this shadow. Um, but the shadow tells me that it's time to go downstairs and start figuring out what's for dinner and also um, feed a curly little... A curly little member of our family because her tummy is probably rumbling. So um, we'll get together soon and we'll share some books too. And I need to finish up last minute details on Mrs. Fezziwig. So have a great rest of your day. Say hi down below and I'll say hi back at you. See ya.